Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a sump pump in a crawl space, a little bit of footer tiles as well. You can see we've already started our pit. Got Paul digging on the pit over here. Kind of dark here. Right by the footer wall, we're going to install our sump pump and sump pit. Then we'll drill right through that wall to bring it outside. Okay, so we've got our sump pump installed. Solar M53. <clears throat> Riser comes up, goes through the wall. Probably one of the most important parts of putting together the crawl space system is to core the foundation wall. You know, we have hundreds of videos to help you do this and show you how to do it. It's not hard and it takes about 15 20 minutes. You can rent this tool, it is easy to do. There's hundreds of videos here on our site, and if you're doing this yourself, I promise you that you can do this and make it look very professional at the same time. Many times when we come out to redo someone else's work, we find that they brought the discharge line out through the vent. You will never see us do that. It is so much nicer and so much easier to actually core the wall and bring that discharge straight out. Let me just run this video, just let it run, and you'll see how quickly the Bosch hammer drill or any good hammer drill with a good diamond core bit can get through a brick wall. Now this brick wall is only one brick thick and bricks actually pretty easy to go through. When you have brick and concrete it's a little different. You can see we've got a nice perfect hole right through the brick. Two inch drill bit on our Bosch. Two inch drill bit, diamond core it goes right through hammer drill. So we're going to set up our Bosch hammer drill. Yeah, our drill gets a little dirty sometimes, but we're using a two inch diamond core bit. These are industrial diamonds here on the end of it. And you can see it's got the masonry bit that goes inside. This core is right through the wall. This is a hammer drill. And the hammer drill actually hammers at the same time it rotates able to core out a nice two inch hole for our inch and a half PVC. So the way that we're finding the measurement is we're using the vent as our guide and basically our sump pep, sump pit is about right here inside the crawl space. We're going to use this vent, we're going to come down way down to here and we're going to drill through. So let's just see what we got here. In this example, we are coring through a stucco and block wall, so it's about eight and a half inches thick to get through. But again, I'll just let the video run. Watch how quickly the Bosch hammer drill gets through this wall. Granted, the block is hollow, but it only takes a few seconds. I mean, it, this is less than a minute, and we're going to core through this. And you've got a perfect two inch hole that you can slide that inch and a half PVC from the sump pump out through the hole. Okay, let's review that because this is really an important little piece. In order to find the measurement for the discharge of the sump pump, remember the pump's down inside the crawl space, inside down underneath, down deep. There's gonna be a pipe that comes up. We need to bring that pipe out and we're gonna join it to this downspout drain, which will go out to the street. But in order to find this measurement, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we just came straight down, came straight down the center of the vent. And if you look inside, you can see our 90 ready to go, We're ready to hook it right up. So again, making a measurement, it's not that hard to do. And if you're off by, you know, an inch or a half inch, it's going to still work. But we're pretty exact when we make our measurements. So hopefully you can do the same. Okay, so now we're just gonna slide a piece of inch and, inch and a half PVC right through our hole. You can see it fits perfectly. Real nice tight fit, really nice tight fit around the pipe. And we're gonna hook that up inside here in just a second. It'll come out, have a 90 degree turn, come down the wall, go underground, and basically tie into the downspout. It'll probably tie in over here. Okay, back down inside the crawl space, you can see we've got our pipe that came through the outside wall, cord the foundation. We're gonna go ahead and glue all this together. You can see it came out just right. Perfect fit. 
on down into so it. So here's where the sump pump's coming out of the wall. We're gonna turn it and go straight down the wall. So we're gonna cut this off for the 90. Remember that this pipe's loose right now so we can move it anywhere we want. Try to keep a good, clean, straight cut for your fitting. Now we're going to glue our first 90 on there. Lots of glue. Remember, we can pull this out to hold it, and we'll push it back in. And then push and hold it. Make sure it's pointing straight down. That's good. We can go right up to the wall. And that's actually still straight inside. So, next we wanna put a 90 down here in the trench. We've already dug out the trench for the pipe to come out. It's gonna tie into that downspout drain. And we wanna make a measurement from this fitting up to the top, the top of the fitting. You can just use your finger. It'll work just fine. Or you can use tape measure if you want. And make a mark on your pipe and cut it to length. Always clean off these burrs before you glue something, both, both ends. And I usually like to put my dry fit thing, so put it together, make sure you've got the right length. You can see this is gonna fit real good right inside there. So let's go ahead and glue the bottom one on. Again, lots of glue. Swipe it inside your fitting. What this glue does is it actually melts the PVC and it will make a weld. and it won't come apart. <laughs> so make sure you get it right the first time. Clean everything off. Go ahead and put some more glue. I'm gonna put it on the outside of this one. And try to put a little bit up inside as well. Now we just need to push and hold. Just kind of twist it in there. You can see the glue coming out. Make sure that our fitting is nice and straight for this piece of pipe to join. And that's all done. Now we can just glue this together and send it right out to the downspout drain where it ties in with a four inch T. And this side of the, of the crawl space, remember that there's two sump pumps here. This side of the crawl space is done. Always try to keep your glue on level ground and I say that and laugh because of course it's not on level ground but it's real easy for it to spill. Push it, push it, push your pipe together, hold it, take the tension off and this pipe's ready to go. Okay so now we're making our measurement for the core. We're going to go through this block on the outside right here. Basically, it's you know at the bottom of the vent. We want to go right in the center of this block or this brick, and drill right through here. Okay, remember from the inside, we were right at the bottom of the vent between the vent and this vent on the other side. We're going to go right through here. a Bosch hammer drill with a two inch diamond core bit and this is available at most tool rentals cost about fifty to sixty dollars to rent this tool and they usually give you the bit sometimes they don't um, we use this tool every day I'm gonna let this portion of the video run because you can see how quickly we can get through with a good tool we're drilling through a solid brick 
to bring the discharge from the sump pump through the wall and out and we'll plumb that down and tie it into the downspout drain. Put the PVC through so we can see it on the other side. Push it down. There you go. That's good. Okay, so here's our inch and a half that came through the wall. We'll pull it through here so we can have some room to work. But basically, we're going to come down and go right into our pump and hook onto this check valve right here. Okay, so here's our check valve hooked up onto our pump. And we've got our riser coming up. It's going to come through the lid and it's going to connect with a 90 right here. There we go. Now our pump's ready to be plugged in and we'll pump it out. Okay, here we are on the outside of the cross face wall and the way that we find the spot to drill through, because we want to drill through this face brick first, we want to go this direction because it makes a very clean hole, it usually doesn't shatter too much. But if you remember, there was a vent downstairs and in the crawl space, and we counted over one, two, three bricks, and we want to go right through at the end of this brick at this level. And hopefully we are right on the target. Okay, we're ready to use our hammer drill with a two inch core bit to try to get through this uh, brick. And that's pretty quick work of that brick. And you can see we've got a nice clean hole. If you can see through there. And it should line right up with our discharge from the sump pump. Okay, so here we are down in the crawl space. And you can see again how I made that measurement. If you count over three bricks from the bottom of that vent and drill directly underneath of that, that lined up exactly with what we wanted to do. Now we're going to push this piece an inch and a half right through this hole. You can see it slides right through there, really nice. Now there's a bush on the outside, so that's as far as I can take it right now. So we're going to go ahead and cut it anywhere right in here. And then we're going to glue this 90 to this discharge, and then we'll go outside and finish the plumb. So basically we're just going to cut this pipe off. Clean off our burrs on the end of the pipe. And we're just about ready to glue this pipe together. So we'll get our glue out. People ask which one should you glue first. I like to work from the bottom up. So I'm going to glue this bottom of the 90 first. A lot of glue, you can see it kind of dripping out of there, that's fine. Stick it on there. Hold it down tight. Now we're ready to make this connection. This pipe will come to us. All we gotta do is put it together. So let's go ahead and glue this up. I'm gonna go around that outside of this pipe. Good amount of glue. Wiggle it, whatever you gotta do, put it together. And push it tight. You can see the glue dripping out of it. That's quite good. <clears throat> Straighten it up a little bit. <laughs> now we're going to go outside and cut it right at the flush to the wall, put another 90 on it, and come down and we'll pipe it right out so that it drains away.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.